Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this smoky eye look with a dark lip. So yeah, if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So I've already done my base the same way that I did it in a previous video, which was my full coverage, like everyday glam look for glasses. Um, except today I use the Speed Plump Moisturiser by Saving Glory. Um, I do prefer this to the Body Shop one as it is a little bit more suitable for my skin type. So now I'm just going to be taking my Zoeva Blanc Fusion palette. I got this in the, I don't know how you say it, is it the Plaza Box? Pleasure Box? It comes with the Caramel Melange palette and a, another one, oh the Cocoa Blend palette, that's it. It's just really pretty, it's probably the most neutral out of all of them. The first shade that I'm going to be taking is Travel Inspired, which is just this nude matte colour here at the bottom. I'm just going to be taking my shader brush from Tarte and applying this all over my lid up to my brow bone. I love these palettes, they are really affordable and really pigmented. The only problem is, is that they don't come with a mirror, which is a little bit annoying if you don't have one handy, I guess. But it's not really a big deal. I'm now going to be taking Question of Taste, which is just a medium brown, really. It's quite warm toned. And I'm going to be taking this on a fluffy Morphe brush just to add this act as a transition colour in my crease. So now I've warmed up my crease, I'm just going to be taking the shade Conched on a flat shade brush flat shader brush by Zoeva and I'm just going to be patting this on my lid just to act as a base before I darken it up. Then with a clean blending brush, this is the 228 from Zoeva, I'm just going to be really gently buffing out the edges of where I put my shadow. So now that is all blended out I'm just going to take the same flat shader brush again. And I'm going to be taking the shade Last Bite which is this really dark, really dark matte brown here. I'm really gently just going to press this quite close to my lash line. I'm then just going to take that blending brush again and buff out the edges. So now I'm going to take the same shade on my little pencil brush just to smoke out my lower lash line. I do quite like the look that Jamie Genevieve goes for with the like heavier smoke on the lash line. I think it's really flattering and it just looks really interesting. So it's something a bit different I guess. I'm now just taking this brush, this is a Luxe Petite Crease by Zoeva 231. It's quite similar to a pencil brush, but it's just a little fluffier and a little bigger. I'm just using that to buff out the lower lash line. I'm now taking the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Stag. I'm pretty sure this was an exclusive to the Naked on the Run palette. I don't think that's available anymore either, which is a shame because that is a really, really good palette. What can you do? I'm just going to take this on my lower lash line. And I'm going to top on this one. Well. 
So now to highlight my inner corner and add just a pop of colour, I'm going to be taking the colour Single Origin from this palette on a smudger brush. This isn't what I would normally use, however my D10 brush, I've been searching for it for the past five minutes and sensitive subject right now. I'm just going to be placing this on my inner corner. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of Noble, which is a white colour but it has like gold flecks in it. I also like to drag it underneath the lash line a little bit as well just to help blend it in um, into the lid. So I'm done with the eyes. I'm going to just apply my mascara. Obviously you guys can add winged liner and lashes as well. For me, they are my worst nightmare. <laughs> I don't like liner on me and also lashes, I don't really like on me either. So, but if that's your kind of jam, then just get with it. So obviously you guys could go for a nude lip with this, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different today and use a dark liquid lipstick. This is Damned by Kat Von D. It is the nicest dark lipstick ever, pretty much. It's just like your traditional black cherry kind of lip colour. So this is the finished look, I hope you guys like it, uh, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, thank you so much for watching.